I'm Shadow with Q102. And I'm Jason with Brown Derby. Hey, I just need to let you know that there's only nine more shopping days until my birthday. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you said something because I actually... So you should give me all of this beer. Right. I actually had already got you something, but now I can go back and get you something better. Oh, good. Not because I thought I had less time. Or both. So. Um, okay, so you started setting this stuff down and I instantly got very excited. Yes. Because um, I love coffee stouts. Yeah. And I love Rattlers. Yeah. And then I noticed this from Springfield Brewing Company and the Mud House. That's right. So My favorite watering hole of ours. We've got we've got a merger going on here. Yeah. So we're uh, excited. So here we are, second week of December, full blown winter now. Uh, and now the winter season will probably like out. seventy degrees outside. <laughs> yeah, check your local listings. <laughs> uh, so um, However, you think winter time, you think dark beers because of the temperature, but you know, we're, we're doing something new this year. We've actually got a winter seasonal that's on the lighter side that okay. people can enjoy. So we're actually gonna start with that. Our friends up on Boulevard here, uh, north here, a couple hours, Kansas City. Uh, they're very famous for their ginger lemon rattler during the summertime. Right. We sell 100 cases of it easily at the store alone. So for the winter time, they came up with a uh, cranberry orange rattler. And Cranberry to me su suggests winter yeah, time. Yeah, it does. absolutely. So I'm they were smart with the flavors, and if you remember from previous uh, drinking 101s, uh, again check local listings. Uh, Rattlers. Oh. I'm <laughs> sorry, I don't even know if I'm going to let you talk anymore. Just go and buy this. Yeah. Oh, I was going to get all technical, but we'll just go with uh, <laughs> Shadow's endorsement. Oh my gosh, that is good. Endorsed by Shadow. So Rattlers are lighter styles. They are generally considered half. I have more. <laughs> yes, you can. Half soda, fruit soda, half beer. Uh, so the fruit soda in this case is the cranberry orange soda. And then the Rattler will be kind of like a, a Pilsner uh, or something lighter on that style. Mm. Love the nose. And again, lower alcohol. I know that disappoints you. Uh, but mm, I might, you know, just... If you want to drink several of these, I mean, this is the way to go. Yeah. What, what is it? Just like a regular beer or is it... No, it's going to be like 4%. Four point. Okay. What's a regular beer? 5.2? Yeah, usually. 3.2 3 in Oklahoma? Right. Okay. Those of our fans in Oklahoma. So... We're sorry, Oklahoma. <laughs> I know anytime we go to Rocklahoma, we got to make sure that we bring all of our beer across state lines so that we can actually have some decent stuff. I wouldn't say that too loud, but... I don't do that. I don't do that whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. So. That's really good. Uh, local brewery, Springfield Brew Co. We've had them on, uh, we've talked about them on the show quite a bit. They do a winter seasonal where they collaborate with a local uh, coffee house here called the Mud House. Um, a frequent spot of many people in Springfield. Mm -hmm. uh, it's where to go to be seen and and uh and drink good coffee well and they have good food too they have good food and then they also have a beer house uh as well that it's also quite good uh so they do an annual beer called the mud house stout where they collaborate with the local coffee company and the local beer company coffee infused ale which is right up shadows alley yep i like things that'll get me buzz but keep me awake it's better than the latter of doing the others never mind yes never mind Quit while you're ahead. And that's a great beer. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, not it's overpowering delicious. on either side, very well balanced. You definitely get the coffee, but not a lot of coffee. And it's definitely a stout beer, but it's not gonna knock you on your butt. So that's good. If you're wondering, it's 5.9. Yeah, that's decent. That's a decent alcohol for a good stout. Yeah. Not to take it to the next level stone of course not to be outdone we've talked stone brewing ad nauseum on the show over the years uh, love their logo yeah they do a coffee milk stout milk stouts are uh, sweeter in style and then they add coffee to it it's like putting cream in this one if you put cream in your coffee there you go what a great analogy oh my gosh I contributed Wow, yeah. man, right. you nailed that. <laughs> and it does, it gives it a creamier texture. It's a sweeter style, a little more mouthfeel than that one. That's much drier on the mud house. Did you just say mouthfeel? 
Yeah, mouthfeel for beer and wine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, mouthfeel. That so. is a new drinking 101 word. I like it. Mouthfeel is the texture that you feel in your mouth on between your teeth yeah, and your cheeks and done. Don't get technical Gungle. about okay. it. Right. <laughs> just go with it. Just go with Shadow's recommendation, which is drink it and buy it all. There I, you go. All of these. Yeah. Just absolute winners. Five Love stars them. from Shadow. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.